Hey guys, welcome to the channel, Taking the Bath and the Bathroom is on the play where you can play your gadgets in peace. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, also the bell notification so you can be up to date with all of our latest videos. On this channel, we do product reviews and also some tutorial guys. Shout out to Superdell, we want to have a look at the Insignia wireless Bluetooth speaker. Don't want the Superdell live show, she introduced us to a Best Buy sale. I got this puppy for $24, originally $99, so shout out to Superdell TV guys go ahead and check him out look up his channel he can help you cut the card and save you some money like i save money on this particular device this is going to be a quick review of this insignia wireless speaker the reason why it's important is because it have google home you can use like google system with it guys now here are the specifications you want to go to the best buy website and look at what it can do can be deceiving because it said that it is portable it's really not this is not the rechargeable battery model even though they have one but you can hook up a power bank to it all right guys let's go ahead and jump right into it All right, guys, so here is the box. Let's go ahead and pop this baby open. Got these two little tabs right here. Go ahead and pull that out. All right, all right, what side to open? I don't know. Let me just pick it. All right, they go to use the manual. So, all right, here we go. Gotta be the right side. All right, so as you can see, the insignia voice speaker It'll give you all of the specifics how to use it, how to turn it on, how to mute the mic. Nobody likes the unboxing until they want to see an unboxing. I'm just gonna let that marinate. All right, guys, let's switch inside the box. Go ahead and open it up. All right, we have the speaker and we have another little box right here, which I am assuming is the power cord. Let's jump into it. All right, box number one. Let's go ahead and open it up. And just as I predicted, this is your power cord, guys. And you can see the spot or the spot. You can see the part that would plug in. All right, let's start this over. And you can see the part that plugs into the speaker itself. I'm so professional, right? All right, guys, let's open up this. This is the speaker. Now, one of the things, what does it look like? It kind of have like a look and feel to it. Sort of like a baby Google Home device. This is your mic right here. See how it had the slope at the top? You have the spot where you plug in the power cord right there. You just plug that in. Got some little rubber feet to keep it from sliding. Look like you have some mics at the top also to make sure that they hear you. Yeah, look like extra mics at the top right here. This is what I was telling you. You can put like a U USB and connect it to a power bank, guys, and give it a charge. Then that would make it portable. Now, they do have another version, as I mentioned in the beginning, where it has a rechargeable battery. Again, just having a look around it feels good, looks good. All right, enough of the touchy feely, guys. Let's go ahead and plug it up. Please excuse the lighting. I changed from one portion of the house to another portion, and the lighting was kind of different. All right, so let's go ahead and plug it up. I love how I got the little notch where it fit exactly in right there, and put it into the wall. All right, and this time, how long it takes to come on once it's plugged in. All right, got it in there. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. You can ask me questions and tell me to do things. To get started, download the Google Home app. Now being the technological savant that I am, I already have the app downloaded to my phone. And basically guys, you just open it up and go through the prompt. So let's just go ahead and fly through all of that. Now mainly doing the setup, it's gonna ask you to choose a device. It's gonna record your, your voice. It's basically gonna, you know, walk you through everything, connecting to Wi-Fi, etc. So it's very, very important that you follow the prompts that appear on the screen. All right, now we have everything set up. Let's see what it can do. I'm your Google Assistant. I'm here to help. To learn a few things you can do, continue in the Google Home app. Okay, Google. Find me a smoothie recipe. Okay, I've got a recipe called Basic Fruit Smoothie from All Recipes. This recipe serves four and takes about 15 minutes to make. Does that sound good? Yes. Great, let's get started. Would you like to prepare the ingredients or skip to the instructions? Hey Google, 
What NBA teams will play tonight? Today, the 76ers will play the Celtics at 7 p.m. For other games, try asking about a particular team. Hey Google, when will the Cleveland Cavaliers play? Sorry, I don't know how to help with that. Okay Google, do you know Alexa? I like Alexa's cool blue light. Plus, we share an affinity for Star Wars. Okay, Google. Do you know Siri? I think Siri's awesome. I keep trying to schedule a group hang with her, Alexa, and Cortana, but we're all so busy. Okay, Google. What is your favorite phone? There's something quintessentially cool about the Motorola PageWriter 2000 from 1997. It's not exactly a smartphone, but it sure made communication efficient and fun. I love that. Okay, Google. Play royalty-free music. All right, check out this royalty-free music station on YouTube. Okay, Google, stop. Okay, Google. Open up Tech in the Bathroom YouTube. Sorry, I'm not sure how to help with that. Man, Google showed me no love. Hey guys, as you can see, you have to use the common phrase, okay Google, hey Google. It can help you with basic things, and I hope you was able to hear the sound quality. Overall, I'm real impressed. It sounds very good. You just have to watch your volume too loud, it will to start. Hey, it's your boy taking the bathroom. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and also hit that notification button so you can be up to date with all of my latest videos.